Hello ladies and gentlemen this is your chef from gurus cooking dot in with kashmiri damalu please make a note of the ingredients To commence with, I have here with me sixteen baby potatoes. Of course, baby potatoes means these are small sized, but even in these, you have the tiny ones. You have to ignore the tiny ones; they are too small. So we'll be using the potatoes which you can see in the plate. These are very dirty right now, so let's wash them. rub the mud out of these potatoes using your fingers thoroughly and discard this water keep the potatoes we'll be using them later on this is a very small cup almost 150 ml of water is what you can have in this i filled it up half and this is pure drinking water to this i'll be adding 2 teaspoons of kashmiri red chili powder kashmiri red chili powder is often used for color rather than the spicy or hotness mix up everything please keep this aside we'll be using it later on in the gravy this is a kadhai you can also grab a pan our job here is to now par boil that is partially boil the baby potatoes so i have filled this up with some water and i'm adding a 1/4 quarter teaspoon of salt and we'll follow up by adding the potatoes which we had washed and rinsed cover this with a lid at a high flame cook them for around 10 minutes and that will be enough to par boil them remember par boil you don't have to cook them completely now the easy test to find out whether they have cooked or not is you can grab a fork or you can grab a toothpick or a skewer stick insert it through these potatoes and you can see if it is inserting comfortably then they have cooked properly so as you can see it's done i'm going to put off the flame and secure these potatoes it's time for us to peel them let's peel these potatoes peeling will be a little difficult task because you know these potatoes are only 50% cooked but give it your best try it will take time i've done it for all these potatoes this is how they look now the important task for us is which is pretty interesting part of science in order to make sure the masala enters them you have to grab a fork or a toothpick and make thorough nice holes within them be careful you do not break the potato though it is half cooked it will not easily break but still be careful follow this procedure for all the potatoes We will now deep fry these potatoes in mustard oil. Before you add these potatoes to the mustard oil, make sure you have burned the mustard oil, and then add these potatoes. We burn the mustard oil in order to eradicate its bitterness. How do we burn it? We just cook the mustard oil at a high flame in the beginning, and once our eyes have a burning sensation, there is a lot of smoke in the kitchen. You know that the oil has burnt. That is a sign for you. First cook these potatoes at a high flame and then after 2 minutes cook them at a low flame. Once they start roofing up and floating at the top, you know they are cooked. 
The second indication is they will turn golden red in color like this and start looking so amazingly beautiful and way very light. This is when you know they are cooked. Please keep them aside. We'll use them later on. In the same kadai, remove the excess oil, just keeping 4 tablespoons of oil and then add 1 bay leaf followed by 4 cloves and crush 1 green cardamom and then add it. Remember, we are cooking at a very low flame because we don't want to burn our spices and a lot of spices will be added now on. Follow by adding quarter teaspoon of hing or asafoetida and the Kashmiri red chili powder that you had mixed with half a cup of water in the beginning. Remember, you have to add that now. Just be careful at this step. A lot of oil may splutter onto your palm. So when you do this, be careful. Also add 1 cup of curd but before you add it, whisk it nicely to avoid lumps. And also since curd is a milk product, you should add it only when the flame is very very low otherwise it will curdle. That is not what you expect. We will now add 150 milliliters of water. You can now increase the flame from low to medium. Let's add a few more herbs and spices. This was half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Here goes half a tablespoon of fennel powder or soft powder. This is half a tablespoon more. We'll add half a tablespoon of salt or dry ginger powder followed by two teaspoons of coriander powder. We'll mix up everything. Remember the quantities I've mentioned are very important. They've also been mentioned at the beginning so please make sure you do not confuse tablespoons with teaspoons. Yes, that's good. So once it comes to a boil after 5 minutes, you'll be adding 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt. Follow this by adding those amazing potatoes that you had fried earlier and Mix up everything. We are right now cooking at a medium flame. We'll add 1 teaspoon of Shahi Jeera. This is also called black cumin seed. If you don't have this, you can just add cumin seeds or Jeera. We'll cover this with a lid and cook this for 20 minutes at a medium flame and within 20 minutes please try to look at this if it is not sticking to the bottom of the pan then you're lucky if it is sticking please make sure you steer your ladle and once again cover it with the lid so after 10 minutes I just saw it was working fine for me I covered it once again I'm gonna cook this for another 10 minutes a total of 20 minutes ladies and gentlemen amazing Kashmiri Damalu. Thank you so much for watching. Serve this with naan, chapatis, roti, rice or whatever you wish to have it with. But most importantly share it with your friends, enjoy it with your family and this is all Kashmir is all about. Please make a note of the instructions.
You can also take a look at bhature to the left and gulab jamun to the bottom. Thank you so much. Have a nice time.